I'm Gail Surratt, and we are currently right now on the dock, on the boat dock at Trout Creek, Montana. Which is northwestern Montana, in the middle of nowhere, basically. Um, I'm Catherine Regeer, and we put together Sophia Center of Montana. And it started as a dream that I had looking over my meadow and I saw teepees out in the meadow and they were filled with women and our women's group were ministering to them as um, in a retreat sort of situation. And I went to my women's group and I said we could do this and we decided yes we could do this. So we began sponsoring retreats. At this point, our group had been working um, together for five or six years, and um, we'd also been interacting with other groups of women, and they were starting to say to us, we want what you have, how do we do that? And then the dream kind of coalesced it all. And so that's when we decided to get together and just offer a weekend retreat where we would have workshops, creative workshops, or spiritually based workshops, and um, good food. And we decided to have it at a hot spring, so you were also physically ministered to as well. And um, so we just flew by the seat of our pants and said, how do we do this? And we all, that was another good thing. We all had a talent. And whenever one of us got stuck, another one could pick you up and hold you up. And we just pulled each other along. And the whole thing came together just like someone had planned it out ahead of time, even though there wasn't much planning. And then, and then when we got really bogged down, um, our good friend Franny just said, remember you just have to hold the space and the other women will fill it. And that's exactly what happened. So we made the intention to have the weekend and we put out a brochure and um, word of mouth went around and before we knew it, we had a keynote speaker and we had all of these wonderful, amazing presenters from not all just- All over the country. All over the country, Minnesota, um, Arizona. Arizona, California. They said, can we come? And and um, no, it doesn't cost you anything to have, to have us come, you know, a little help with the airplane ticket, maybe. Mostly local women, but then they're friends of friends. So they come from all over, Arizona, California. Canada. Canada. Um, uh, Idaho, Washington. Idaho. The other really cool thing is that um, on our registration form, we just say, if you have some money to help somebody come as well, we have a little scholarship fund. And some people just give $5, and some people give an amazing amount of money, and we end up being able to give five, six, seven women the weekend. And, all, and we've always just made it, if you feel like you want to come and you don't have the funds, just say so, and we'll make it happen. For why I was feeling responsible for how am I going to entertain these women? How am I, I? I feel like it's my job to make sure they have a great time and get stuff out of them, out of the retreat. And it was like, I don't have to do, I don't have to do anything. I have created, we have created this opportunity for them to do whatever it is they want to do here. And these women at the closing ceremonies, they're just weeping with gratitude and with joy. joy and love because they have found that uh, they have found something within themselves that just it lights it lights up the world I think um, one of the ways it really impacted our community is we're really rural based and there isn't a lot of opportunity for people outside the very strict I belong to this church and church circle or I belong to this social circle and there's really not a lot for people who don't go in those specific paths there isn't a lot outside of that and and this was an opportunity I had a lot of women saying this is the first time I could act 
and be myself in a situation just the way I am. And so I think it gave a, a space for women who don't quite fit the, the square little box. Um, I gave them a place to be. Yeah. Sanders County, the population is at 2.4 people per persons per square mile, which doesn't even reach the uh, rural designation as far as population per square mile. We are in the frontier designation. So, and we only have this one highway that runs through the, through the county. We have like four or five different little towns. We have three little police departments and one sheriff's department, which has like five people for the whole county. You live by your own wits, really. And, and by what you make of your world, you know. It, we, we make our own community. Right. Um, there aren't very many people here. So you end up, if you want something done or you want to see something happen, you just have to do it. The way our group worked was, uh, we like to call it the goddess model. Um, the god model is everybody has to get their own and it's very male-centric and, and um, you know, you make your way and you have to fight for everything you have. And the goddess model is there's enough for everybody if we just share it and let it happen. And that's the way we ran Sophia Center and that's the way I'm trying to run my life and it's been proven true. We were the very proud recipients of, of people coming up and saying, oh God, I had the best weekend, and oh, this changed my life. And, and um, I've had people call me up and say, how can I do this where I live? Yeah, you can do it. I mean, you, you just have to, you have to take that, that step. Okay, you, you can either operate out of a place of love or out of a place of fear. And operate, right. I mean, by, by live your life. Either you can live your life in a place of fear and stay within your boxes and stay within your homes and your comfort zones, or you can live from a place of, of love and take that step with the faith that you will be accepted, or it doesn't matter if you're accepted or not, because love, you can't go wrong when you operate from a place of love.